And doctors in Boston are celebrating after the world's first successful transplant of a pig kidney to a living person. A 62-year-old man who received the kidney is said to be feeling well and recovering nicely. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has more on what this means for the tens of thousands of Americans on the transplant list. The world's first successful transplant of a pig kidney to a living person. It was a high wire act in the OR. Doctors at Massachusetts General Hospital announcing the first of its kind procedure took place this weekend, transplanting a genetically edited pig kidney into a 62 year old man with end stage kidney disease. The kidney pinked up immediately. Everyone in the operating room burst in applause. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. Nearly 90,000 people are on the wait list for a kidney in the U.S., but less than 16,000 are transplanted annually. On average, 17 patients die every day while they wait. For this transplant team, the stakes couldn't be higher. My deepest gratitude goes to our MGH team. Doctors say the patient, Rick Slayman, a 62-year-old black man from Massachusetts, had been desperately sick on dialysis with a failing transplanted kidney. Black Americans, like Slayman, are nearly four times as likely to suffer end-stage kidney disease than white patients. When you look at the actual numbers, for example, in 2022, black patients represented only 11% of kidney transplants. So advancements like this can not only help with opportunities in terms of providing people hope, but fix very real disparities that are affecting communities today. Slayman says in a statement he accepted the pig transplant, not only as a way to help himself, but a way to provide hope for the thousands of people who need a transplant to survive. So far, the patient's new kidney is functional. Doctors will continue to monitor him for any signs of rejection, but his doctors say he is improving every day and should be discharged from the hospital soon. Diane. Stephanie Ramos, thank you.